hi friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support if you are a returning subscriber i really appreciate you much god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave this channel remember to subscribe and when you subscribe please please click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will enjoy your stay in this channel so dear friends before i jump into our today's video i would like to make things clear on this because recently someone tried to accuse me of discouraging black women not to date a certain kind of race what I do in this channel, I think I've talked of this, but I am going to repeat it again so that you can understand what I am here to do, guys, in my channel. I am here to encourage all ladies, whether you are black or white, to date who you want to date. If you are here for dating white men, I am going to encourage you. I am going to show you the right way. I am going to give you the tips, guidance, for you to find that right man that you are looking for. But if you reach out to me, you are interested in dating a black man, I am going to give you guidance, I'm going to give you advice so that you can date that black man the right way. <laughs> Follow all the tips, guidance to find the right black man. So my channel is not all about the color, but as you all know guys, if you are a content creator, you understand most ladies who are on my channel they are interested in dating white men so that is why you will find most of my titles are all about dating white men online dating <laughs> and all that guys but that doesn't mean that if you are interested in dating a black man on online dating sites the tips that i'm giving don't apply to you they do apply guys they apply so i am here to encourage all ladies to date whom they want to date to give you guidance to make sure that you find that right man so dear friends back to our today's video our today's video will be very very interesting and that is why i have a glass of wine with me guys <laughs> so take a glass of wine or a glass of water a glass of juice <laughs> popcorns anything that will keep you company while watching this video because it is going to be very very educative if you're someone who is very curious about things then this video is perfect for you if you are online dating apps searching for a white man for marriage, for a relationship, the video is very, very perfect. We are going to have fun. We are going to have life experience. Name it, guys. So at this video, wait a minute. So at this video will be about the facts about dating men from these countries something very positive you have to keep in mind while watching this video is that the countries that i'm going to be sharing are men from these countries you have got a very big chance as a black woman to start something serious <laughs> if you remember there is a video i did and i talked of the countries to avoid or countries to be very careful about because you have a very small chance of starting something serious but these ones of today we are on the more positive side so if you are on online dating apps and you come across a man from one of these countries then you know that you have a very big chance of starting something serious that will lead to marriage <laughs> that will lead to a long-term relationship also guys i want to give a disclaimer i am not here to offend anyone or any man from any country no that is not what i'm trying to do i want us to have fun to have life experience i've had a lot of cases whereby ladies sometimes they want to stop a relationship because they don't understand the man so i thought this video would be very very helpful for you ladies who are online dating apps or you ladies who are interested in dating white men or men from a country that is not yours <laughs> one of these countries so that if you come across that man and maybe tells you something 
that you will hear in this channel it won't be a surprise you'll be like oh yes Bella talked about that in one of her videos so it will help you very very much to avoid surprises not to end a relationship just because you don't understand the guy <laughs> so guys I'm someone who used to think that white men are the same the way they do things but I was very wrong they are different because they have different culture For example if you date a man from Denmark and you date a man from Italy the whole experience would be very very different because they have different culture they have their own way of doing if you date them what to expect <laughs> so dear friends I'm going to start with country number one which is Britain but before that everything that I'm going to say in this video I have done enough research I have experience helping women on online dating apps who are dating men from these countries I also went ahead and talked to my friends not only one friend <laughs> so one country I reached out to more than one friend who is living in that country for more than 10 years so I've got enough information of what I am going to be talking about so guys men from Britain if you are on online dating apps and you come across a man from Britain <laughs> UK you have a very high chance of starting something very serious with that man from there this is due to the existence of lots of interracial couples in the UK it is something very normal it is not an abomination <laughs> to see a black woman and a white man <laughs> dating being in love relationship normal it has got lots of different people from different nationalities so that is why you have a very high chance of starting something very serious with a man from Britain so the facts about dating a man from Britain number one is that they are very straightforward people if you don't like something you will have to say it don't keep quiet about it they really appreciate honesty number two they are very hardworking people they work so hard to take care of their family number three guys they are very respectful caring loving strong and fun to be around you'll never get bored around a man from britain number four they like to drink they like to go out with friends and have some drinks at the bar so if you meet a guy from britain ask him very well because some of you have been telling me i don't want a man who drinks so if you come across a man from britain ask him very well because they like to drink <laughs> number five they like to swear they swear a lot but that one doesn't mean that they are so religious not at all actually most of them don't go to church they go to church occasionally maybe there is a funeral or wedding so you who have been like i want a christian man <laughs> <laughs> and you meet a man from Britain on online dating apps tells you that I am a Christian don't start thinking that he goes to church every Sunday <laughs> or when he swears you're like oh my god he's so religious <laughs> not at all but again they will allow you worship what you like to worship <laughs> number six they love love <laughs> really really love sex <laughs> yes I'm told they love sex a lot and they can be very very adventurous when it comes to taking the goodies <laughs> so when you meet a guy from Britain and he starts to be very very adventurous while taking the goodies don't be surprised and you're like we don't do that <laughs> they are like that okay number seven they don't like quiet people and that is why i told you they like honesty if you don't like something you just say it don't worry <laughs> they will really appreciate that they also love someone who goes with the flow because if you keep quiet you don't go with the flow they will find you very boring 
country number two is Germany so if you are a black woman and you are on online dating apps you come across a man from Germany he is interested in you then you have high high chance of starting something very serious but that one doesn't mean that players don't exist they do exist in Germany but you have got a very high chance of starting something serious due to the existence of a lot of mixed couples in Germany interracial couples black and white couples <laughs> I want to give you a little bit of a story about this as growing up when I started having that age of dating I used to watch this TV program it's in Kenya I think if you are a Kenyan watching this you can correct me this program was called Kenyan Wedding. It was shown either if it wasn't KBC, it was Citizen. I used to watch that TV program. It was always on Sunday. I used to see in that TV program a lot of mixed couples and most of them men were from Germany guys not only that guys we have internet you know right now if you want information any kind of information in our today's world you will find it my research tells me that Germany men or men from Germany they don't have any problem marrying a black woman so you have got a very high chance about the facts so fact number one about dating a man from Germany if you are on online dating apps is that they are very straightforward if you start a relationship with him and maybe you want to hear his opinion about you if there is something wrong or he doesn't like you you don't vibe <laughs> he is going to tell you straight on your face what is wrong no matter how it's going to hurt you but he will tell you because they are very direct number two germany men they like to save so some people will say they are stingy but it's because they really really like to save for their future they like to save for holidays because they really enjoy going to holidays so you might find him very stingy but it's because they save they save guys they like like to save I was talking to one of my friends, she was telling me that Germany men to save to an extent that sometimes when they go for shopping, they will go for the products that have the lowest price <laughs> in the market. <laughs> Another example that she gave me about saving, she was like, you know, here in Europe, when it's winter, we open the gas so that the houses can be warm so told me if you are married to a man from germany and it's in winter you open the windows you will be in trouble because <laughs> they are all about saving <laughs> number three germany men are impatient in germany they call it ungeduldig i hope i pronounced it very well guys <laughs> So Germany men are very impatient, they are very strict, they want things to be done the way they want it. Example, if you agree to meet with a Germany man at a certain time and then that time you don't arrive, he is going to leave. He's not going to wait for you because they are impatient. Another example I was given while doing my research is that there is an African lady who got married to a Germany man and then this man wanted the girl to start working immediately but as you all know in Germany they use Germany so she was supposed to start learning the language and all that but because the guy was so impatient <laughs> he was very ungeduldig <laughs> He stressed the girl to an extent the girl got depressed and decided to go back to her country. Yes guys, they can be very impatient but also it depends with the man that you are in a relationship with. It's something to keep in mind if you come across a Germany man that is impatient, don't get surprised because that's how they are. <laughs> Number four, they tend to get stressed very easily, but this can be due to work or due to life. So when you see him stressed, 
try to ask him so that you can understand why he is stressed and when they get angry guys they are very loud but this one did not surprise me they are just the same like the italian brothers <laughs> italians when they get angry they are loud <laughs> very very loud <laughs> i remember one time i was chatting with my friend she's married to an italian she was telling me oh my god this man when he gets angry he can call all the names in the bible <laughs> maria santa madonna <laughs> they call all the names in the bible loudly <laughs> so they're just the same like italian men when it comes to being loud when they get angry but what i'm advising you when you see a germany man angry just keep quiet go to the room lock yourself there and let him calm down don't go and start also talking to him on a higher voice <laughs> things will explode <laughs> fact number six about dating germany men on online dating apps if you vibe if he loves you he will include you in everything in his plans and they like to plan ahead of time <laughs> so he's going to include you in his plans of maybe holidays and if you see him doing things that he doesn't like for you you know that he is in love with you they are also easy to say let's get married but be careful about that guys because if a germany man tells you let's get you need to be very careful because the research that i have done tells me that a germany man or a man from germany can marry you just to save the coins because when you get married in germany there is a tax i'll write it there how it's called in germany i can't pronounce it very well <laughs> i've tried and failed <laughs> but it's a certain kind of tax that they don't cut you when you get married a germany man can marry you so that they don't cut him that tax and when you get married and things don't go well he can tell you that let's break up let's separate but we'll stay in the same house they are very impatient like i said guys <laughs> so he will tell you let's separate but not a divorce we will stay in the same house so that they don't cut him that tax <laughs> so you should be very very careful before you get married to a germany man make sure that he really really loves you he is a good man he wants to marry you because he truly truly loves you that doesn't mean all germany man will marry you just because they want to save the coins not at all guys you might find a germany man who will marry you for love and they exist guys they exist so this shouldn't threaten you shouldn't worry you at all <laughs> fact number five is it five let us call it five when you date a man from germany expect 50 50 kind of a relationship splitting the bills <laughs> life is very expensive so when you get married expect to work and split the bills sometimes it can even happen on the first date <laughs> you go on a date you have to pay for yourself but about these guys try to talk to this man and let him know your culture how things are done and how you expect that relationship to be but if you get married to a germany man and he tells you about 50 50 splitting the bills don't get surprised because that is how they do things but sometimes you can come across a man who will want you to stay at home and take care of the kids and he will be the one to be in charge of taking care of the family 50 <laughs> 50 splitting the bills exists in germany guys <laughs> country number three is america we all know america is big but i'm going to give you my own facts according to the research that i have done if you are an american watching this video you can help me write in the comments below some of the facts that i forgot 
so guys if you are a black woman from Africa or anywhere in the world but you are black and you come across an American guy on online dating apps you have a very very high chance of starting something serious we all know mixed couples in America it is something normal though my research tells me that some of the states can have a very 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 strong racism but seeing a mixed couple in America it is normal because America is full of black people and white so about the facts fact number one about American men on online dating apps most of them can be very unserious so for you as a lady to be on a safer side if you guys plans to meet and then you meet don't jump to give him the goodies immediately before you know how serious he is with you because some of them will tell you they are serious but in real sense they just want to please you so that they can get what they want from you so what you need to do is not to give the goodies before you understand or before you are sure that that American guy is serious want something serious because most of them don't want even to settle because <laughs> most of them can just be on online dating apps just to play games fact number two most American men on online dating apps not all of them most of them are not ready to settle so as a black lady out there you have to make sure that when you start chatting with an american man on online dating apps you let him know what you want in a man what you expect in that relationship because if you tell him what you expect what you want in a man you will scare away and serious people and you will attract serious american men <laughs> fact number three about american men on online dating apps or in general even in real life they like what is theirs <laughs> you cannot change their mind <laughs> fact number five about american men is that their hobbies are so so important so on this i'm going to advise you if you're on online dating apps and then you come across an american guy you start dating you know that his hobby is very important so you have to make sure that you support his hobby so that you can go along <laughs> fact number six about american men is that they like drama most of them <laughs> Sometimes you might not even understand each other and they always like to win. <laughs> when you argue, they want to be the one to win. But also it depends guys with the guy that you are dating. <laughs> any man from any country can like drama, but I'm told American men, <laughs> they like to win. They like drama. <laughs> Fact number seven, they show love with actions not only words <laughs> country number four Norway so if you are on online dating apps and you are a black woman you come across a Norwegian guy count yourself that you have got higher higher chances of starting something serious with this Norwegian guy if he is interested in you <laughs> yes guys I'm saying that because first of all online dating in Norway is very common and normal most single Norwegian men are on online dating apps they like to use it <laughs> another thing you should know is that Norwegian men flow with anyone they don't care the color if you vibe if they like you they are going to date you so that is why i'm telling you guys you have got higher higher chances of starting something serious with an norwegian man so about the facts fact number one about norwegian men is that they are shy to approach a woman but if you find him on online dating apps 
he might approach you but don't expect this norwegian guy to have all those sweet words all the time telling you i love you you are the most beautiful woman on earth giving you lots of compliments don't expect that from a norwegian man <laughs> not at all guys <laughs> you will be surprised yes he might be very very interested in you but he might not even say it <laughs> He may show you just actions, so you have to be very clever, you have to be very understanding to know that this Norwegian guy is interested in you. <laughs> because even in real life, they are shy, very shy to approach a woman. That is why in Norway, even a lady can approach a man, because there is gender equality. <laughs> yes, guys. Fact number two about Norwegian men, they are very reserved. And when it comes to their family, they don't like to talk about their families to strangers. You might be chatting with a Norwegian guy on online dating apps and it has been maybe a week, but he has not talked about his family yet to you. This is because they are so reserved and before he talks to you about his family, then he should trust you very very much <laughs> yes guys cause family to norwegian men it is something personal <laughs> when you start chatting with a norwegian guy on online dating apps and immediately you ask him about his family he will feel a little bit uncomfortable cause that question is a bit personal another personal question that can put off an origin guy is if you start talking about religion or politics so avoid that that is a tip <laughs> fact number three about norwegian men goodies <laughs> so when it comes to giving the goodies guys if you give your goodies to an origin guy don't think that you are exclusive don't think that oh yes now he is my boyfriend not at all this is because for them if you give the goodies <laughs> if they take the goodies then they are putting you on a test a compatibility test <laughs> they want to see if you are compatible it's not a big deal guys like us african women giving the goodies it's a big deal if i give you my goodies it means that you are someone who will marry me if i give you before marriage then it means that i really trust you i am very sure you will marry me <laughs> so guys if you give the goodies to an Norwegian guy then don't think that you are exclusive don't think that he is your fiance already not at all guys they are testing if you are compatible. Oh, compatibility test. <laughs> Fact number four about dating an Norwegian man. If you are on online dating apps and then you come across an Norwegian guy, you start dating, you should expect a Norwegian guy to love nature because they love nature very, very much. It means a lot to them. They like to go for a walk in the mountains. They like to go skiing. They like skiing pots and also they like their winters <laughs> that is why in summer you will find them in the wood cabins in the mountains but doesn't mean that it's boring because those wood cabins can be very very luxurious very cozy warm romantic region men likes nature it is something that you have to keep in mind if you chat with an Norwegian guy, he is serious with you, you start dating, expect that. My advice to you is to try to integrate. That is how you are going to manage that relationship. <laughs> if he likes going for a walk in the mountain, then support him because you will be living there. That is going to be your life. So I'm telling you this so that you can prepare your mind if you are in a relationship with an Norwegian man. <laughs> they like nature. Fact number five about Norwegian men, there is 50-50 in a relationship cause there is gender equality. So when you get married or when you start living together with an Norwegian guy, you are a couple, you are a family. 
expect to split the bills that is how things are and they take that as a respect to women <laughs> so that the day he is not around you will be able to survive you can do it without him to make you strong <laughs> That is their culture guys but it depends on you if it is something that you don't like then you can let him know if he will tell you I stick to 50 50 relationship and it's not what you want it's up to you to decide what to do yes guys all is in your power <laughs> number six they are very respectful loyal calm people <laughs> yes guys don't expect a lot of romantic dinners or shower you with gifts flowers or expect traditional dating with an Norwegian guy not at all but he is going to be very loyal to you and when he loves you he will love you deeply deeply guys <laughs> another tip about Norwegian men they can be stingy but this one also depends with the guy that you are dating they can be stingy they don't like to spend their money anyhow Something else you need to know about Norwegian men, they don't like a woman who complains all the time. <laughs> you complain with everything. No, they have been taught to accept life as it is, to work hard, but not complain. They are very positive men. They like to see life on a very positive side of it. And lastly, guys, the facts about Norwegian men is that they take long to trust someone but when they trust you they really really give you their a hundred trust and if you break that then everything is over they will never turn back so be very very careful <laughs> something else you need to know about Norwegian men they are very straightforward they are very frank if they think the relationship is not heading anywhere they will tell you straight on your face that let's end this relationship <laughs> they won't beat around the bush <laughs> yes guys before i forget guys on my research i've been told that norwegian men most of them are tall blonde blue eyes handsome with big eggplants <laughs> big and long eggplants <laughs> that is what i've been told <laughs> So guys, I prepared 10 countries where you have high chances of starting something serious as a black woman on online dating sites with those men. But for today, I have shared only five because this video has been very long. So in my next video, I'm going to be sharing the remaining five. Don't miss that video. Thank you so much guys for watching this video till now. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Comment below what you think about this video. If you have any experience of dating men from one of these countries that I have mentioned, tell us the facts that I forgot to give. I will really appreciate much because we will be helping a lot of ladies out there. So drop your comment. Please, if you have not watched my other videos too, go and watch them. They are very good. You are going to learn a lot of things about online dating, about relationship, about fashion. <laughs> you will really enjoy, guys. Until next video, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.